Hello, my name is Rishi Bhatt, and I'm an attorney at MNK Law, a boutique law firm based in Los Angeles County. At MNK Law, we are more than just attorneys. We're also business advisors. It's the summer and it's hot. And it also means that your employees want some extra time off to spend with their families and loved ones. One way employers can do this here in California is through the implementation of what is known as an AWS, an alternative work week schedule. Let's start with the basics. What is an AWS? Simply put, an AWS is a compressed work week schedule whereby employees work 40 hours or less over a span of a few days without incurring daily overtime for working over eight hours in a day. Take for instance, four tens, in which employees work four days a week, 10 hours per day, instead of the regular eight hours over five days. To break this down further, you might recall that under California law, an employee who works 10 hours in a single day would be entitled to overtime at time and a half for those two extra hours worked above eight hours. But not so with AWS. The reason for, implement, for implementing an AWS are fairly clear. It gives employees potentially more time off from work than they would otherwise have if they had to work eight hours uh, per day in a standard 40 hour work week. AWS, in a sense, is a win-win for both the employer and the employee. For the employer, because employee, employees can be more productive longer without incurring overtime, and for the employee, is able to take more time off, potentially, to enjoy the things they love, such as family. Employers often ask us if AWS can be used to circumvent California meal and rest periods. The emphatic answer is no. AWS, at most, relieves an employer of overtime obligations. It does not, however, relieve an employer from an obligation to honor rest and meal periods. So now that we know what AWS is, how do we go about implementing one? In California, the rules for implementing AWS are, are several and are fairly strict and includes, uh, include the following steps. First, identify which employee unit will implement an AWS. It's critical that you decide which work unit in your business will be subject to an AWS schedule. This can be a division, department, a job classification, such as all part-time employees, location, or any other recognized group of employees. Second, determine what AWS schedule would apply to said work unit. Example includes four tens, four nines, and the like. Third, Communicate the proposed schedule with the affected work unit and hold a pre-election meeting. AWS schedule must be formally ratified and approved by the affected AWS unit. In order to do so, however, uh, an employer must hold a pre-election meeting as well as a formal election meeting. This pre-election meeting must occur at least 14 days before an AWS election by the affected work unit. During your pre-election meeting, you must provide a written disclosure to the affected unit of employees discussing the proposed AWS schedule and the effect of the same on their wages, hours, and the benefits. Fourth, hold elections. The affected work unit must affirmatively approve of the AWS schedule by two-thirds majority vote. This election must be held during regular office hours and, your, and the employer must pay for all associated costs of the election. Fifth, Report the election results to the state and delay implementation of the new AWS schedule for at least 30 days after the final election results have been tallied. Once an AWS has been approved by a work unit, you must report the results to the California Department of Industrial Relations within 30 days after the election. Finally, it perhaps it need not be said, but the last step in implementing an AWS schedule is to actually implement the AWS schedule. Once again, such implementation must wait for 30 days after the final election results were tallied. In short, AWS can potentially help your business and employees. But implementing an AWS requires that you follow a tightly defined set of procedures and protocol. If you are interested in implementing an AWS, please let us know. You may reach us at info at maklawyers.com or visit us at maklawyers.com. We'd be happy to help. Also, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you.